In this video, you're going to learn how to use different page numbering schemes throughout your brief. I'm using Office 2010, but you can also follow along using Office 2007. Here I have a brief with no page numbers. And my main goal to accomplish is that I want no page number on the cover page, small Roman numerals for my table of contents and table of authorities, and regular page numbers for the remainder of my document. To accomplish this, we have to do the following steps. Very first is we want to turn on our hidden character symbol. We want to be able to see our section breaks that we're soon going to enter. If I scroll to the bottom of my cover page, this is where I actually want to enter my first section break. The reason is because I don't want a page number on my first page, but I want page numbers throughout the remainder of my document, right now I know this is going to be a separate section. So you want to insert a section break at the bottom of a section. So I'm going to click on page layout at the top, click on breaks, and select the next page section break. It inserts a section break and starts the new section on the next page. When I do this, we can now see the section break. It always usually adds a hard return, so I simply just delete it. But to confirm that now these are two sections, if I double click here anywhere in the footer, I can see that this is indeed section 1 and the remainder of the document is section 2. However, there's still one step we need to do. So we need to unlink these sections from each other in the footer. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this first page in section 2 on my table of contents page. I'm going to click down here in the footer and look here on the right it's the same as previous. This is the link I'm talking about. If we keep this link, our page numbering will still not work correctly. So to unlink these, because I'm already in the header and footer tool mode, at the very top, the tool is already enabled in the ribbon, and I simply need to click on this link to previous to remove the same as previous link. Now, my document's into two sections, and they're independent. I need to repeat this process so that the table of authorities and the remainder of the document are in two separate sections. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my table of authorities. And place my cursor there and repeat the process. I'm going to click on page layout, breaks, and choose under section breaks, the next page section break. Get rid of my hard returns, double click on my footer, to show that yes, this is section 2 and the rest of my document is section 3. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the first page in section 3, click on my footer, and remove the link so that they are no longer linked together. Now I can click on my table of contents anywhere and insert my page numbers. I click on page layout sorry, insert, page number, bottom of page, plane number two. You never want to change the formatting of the page numbers directly in the footer. You actually want to do them using the page number formatting tool or it'll mess up your page numbers. So I'm going to choose the subroman numerals, double click to get out of that mode so that now I can go to section three and insert my page numbers because now section two has the page numbers in the format that I want. So I click on Statement of Jurisdiction, Insert, Page Number, Bottom of Page, Plane Number 1, and in this instance it did start with 1, but if again it didn't, if it started with the number 3 or 2, you would format them from here. Now I'm going to go back, turn my hidden characters off, And now you can see that my document is well numbered. Let me scroll through it to show you. No page number on my first page. Table of contents, subroman numeral 1, 2. Table of authorities is 3 in this case. We have 4, and my statement of jurisdiction starts with 1, and the rest of the document continues that way. I really hope this helps. Thank you.